Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in for a today's session on this series. I'm single and I know it. Yes, this is for all you singles out there and just wondering how to make your decision with regard to your life partner and marriage and how to make a decision with regard to your relationships or you want to equip yourself on this topic. This is for you. Point number two, very, very important is the alignment of your purpose. Very, very important. See, marriage is a choice. It's not compulsory. You know, that's what the scripture says. If you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But your purpose is not a choice. And after salvation, the second most important decision you make in your life is your marriage. And your marriage can either enhance your purpose or it can destroy your purpose. So by the end of your life, God is going to ask you, not, is not going to ask you if you married this person or did you marry this person. He's only going to ask you, did you fulfill the purpose for which I created you? Jesus, when he walked on earth, he said, this is the purpose for which I came. We have a purpose for which God created us. Not to just while away time, not to just, you know, live in the social lifestyle of, you know, being born and then going to get education and then uh, get a job and then get married, get kids. And, you know, that's meaningless. God has a meaning for your life, a purpose to enhance his kingdom, a unique calling over your life, a unique gifting over your life. And it's important that you not only you know your purpose, your spouse knows your purpose, but you should know each other's purpose and it should be imperative that it aligns at least to a wide extent again so that you will be able to see enhancement to the kingdom, enhancement to your purpose. Very, very important. Think about this. Because you see, I know families like this, you know, uh, I'll just give you an example. There was this guy who had a desire to start a business, okay? But when I spoke to him a year after this marriage, he said, I'm not able to do minute business because my spouse doesn't want me to do it. Now, neither is he happy, nor is the other spouse happy. You know, this is going to be an ongoing thing for the rest of his life. If he takes a move, yes, she's going to be happy unhappy. If he takes a moon, uh, I mean, as per her desire, he's unhappy. You know, what God has placed, the purpose for which he has created you is unique. There's no mistake he made when he chose that. So don't make the mistake when you choose your life partner, because when he put those dreams or desire to start a business or to start a ministry or to start something or to do something in your life, be imperative to choose your life partner who will enhance the vision for which he has, God has called you. I'll give you some another practical example is, for example, if you have a call to start a big business, okay? And you know God has called this and put this dream in you and the desire in you. That's your call. Uh, so that through this business, you're going to enhance the kingdom of God. And uh, uh, this business involves taking risks. But then if you choose a pa life partner who just wants to go for a 9 to 5 job, come back, just be part of a local church, take no risk in life, you're going to get into trouble. Practical example. You have a call to start something big or you have a big vision, but uh, your spouse doesn't have a big vision. You're going to get into trouble. You have a desire to take risk. Your spouse doesn't want to take risk. You're going to get into trouble. It's going to be the either way as, as well. So it's important that you as look at this aspect of your purpose. Choose somebody who has a similar vision or, or similar uh, purpose which aligns or combines or compatible with your purpose and is not only that but they're able to see through and be able to add in to the purpose for which God created both of you. See here's the thing you are whole as a single you can fulfill the purpose for which he created you as a single but if you're going to get the choice of choosing a life partner you need to emphasize or be careful that that person is enhancing your purpose and not disrupting your purpose. 
very very important many people miss out on their purpose because they choose somebody who doesn't see the way thing the they see it they they don't want to take risks they don't want to uh, you know do anything in life they just narrow minded just selfish life go to work come back or something like that but you know they get into a lot of problems so it's very imperative that you choose somebody whose purpose is similar or in alignment or somebody who can understand or uh, what it is who has a attitude or perspective very similar to yours then things will work out in a better way i hope you were blessed by this message hope you like it share it comment on it would love to hear from you if you have questions do feel free to ask me and at the same time would love to get back to you very soon god bless you Thank you.